Richard Pryor was a famous American comedian and actor who is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential stand-up comedians of all time. He was known for his sharp and honest humor on topics such as race, politics, sex, and drugs. He also starred in many movies, often with his friend Gene Wilder. Some of his most popular films are Silver Streak, Stir Crazy, and Superman 3. He won several awards for his comedy albums and performances, including two Grammy Awards and the first Kennedy Center Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. Richard Pryor's net worth was $40 million at the time of his death in 2005. He earned his fortune from album sales, tour ticket sales, and salaries from a highly successful film and television career. He won several awards for his comedy albums and performances. Richard Pryor's Early Life Pryor was born in Peoria, Illinois, on December 1, 1940. He grew up in a brothel where his grandmother, Marie Carter, was in charge, and his mother, Gertrude L., formerly Thomas, worked as a prostitute. His father, Leroy Buck Carter Pryor, had a history as a boxer, hustler, and pimp. When Pryor was 10 years old, his mother left him, and he was primarily raised by his grandmother, Marie. She was a tall and violent woman who would punish him for his unconventional behavior. Pryor was one of four children raised in the brothel and experienced sexual abuse at the age of seven. He was also expelled from school when he was 14. During his time in Peoria, Pryor joined the Prince Hall Freemasons at a local lodge. From 1958 to 1960, Pryor served in the U.S. Army but spent most of his military service in prison. According to a 1999 article in The New Yorker, Pryor was incarcerated due to an incident that took place while he was stationed in West Germany. He became angry when a white soldier found amusement in racially charged scenes from Douglas Sirk's film, Imitation of Life. Pryor, along with other black soldiers, physically assaulted and stabbed the soldier, although the injuries were not fatal. About Richard Pryor's personal life. Richard Pryor was married seven times to five different women in his life. His first wife was Patricia Price, whom he married in 1960 and divorced in 1961. They had a son named Richard Pryor Jr., who was born after their separation. His second wife was Shelley Bonus, whom he married in 1967 and divorced in 1969. They had a daughter named Rain Pryor, who is also an actress and comedian. His third wife was Deborah McGuire, whom he married in 1977 and divorced in 1978. They had no children together. His fourth wife was Jennifer Lee, whom he married twice, first in 1981 and then again in 2001. They were together until he died in 2005. They had no children together, but Jennifer became the executor of his estate and the guardian of his youngest son. Flynn Belaine was also married to Pryor twice, first in 1986 and then again in 1990. They divorced both times after a few months. They had two children together, Kelsey and Stephen Michael Pryor. Richard Pryor's professional career. He started his stand-up comedy career in the early 1960s, performing in clubs and on television shows such as The Ed Sullivan Show and The Tonight Show. He developed his style of observational humor, often drawing from his personal experiences of growing up in a brothel and dealing with racism, poverty, and addiction. He released his first comedy album, Richard Pryor, in 1968, followed by several more successful albums in the 1970s. He won five Grammy Awards for his comedy albums. He made his film debut in The Busy Body, 1967, and went on to star in many popular movies, often collaborating with actor Gene Wilder. Some of his best-known films include Silver Streak, 1976, Stir Crazy, 1980, Superman 3, 1983, and See No Evil, Hear No Evil, 1989. He also wrote or co-wrote several films, such as Blazing Saddles, 1974, Car Wash, 1976, and Harlem Nights, 
1989. He also appeared on several television shows, such as The Richard Pryor Show, 1977, Saturday Night Live, 1975, and The Muppet Show, 1979. He created and produced the sketch comedy show Pryor's Place, 1984, and the sitcom The Royal Family, 1991. He won an Emmy Award for writing for Lily Tomlin's television special Lily, 1973. He recorded several concert films that showcased his live performances, such as Richard Pryor, Live in Concert, 1979, Richard Pryor, Live on the Sunset Strip, 1982, and Richard Pryor, Here and Now, 1983. These films captured his raw and honest comedy style, as well as his struggles with drug abuse and health issues. About his honors and accolades. He received many honors and accolades for his work, such as the first Kennedy Center Mark Twain Prize for American Humor in 1998, the Writers Guild of America Award in 1974, and the NAACP Image Award in 1995. He was ranked number one on Comedy Central's list of all-time greatest stand-up comedians in 2004 and number one on Rolling Stone's list of the 50 best stand-up comics of all time in 2017. Substance Abuse and Death In the late evening of June 9, 1980, Richard Pryor experienced a traumatic incident involving substance abuse. He doused himself with 151 proof rum and set himself on fire. The Los Angeles police reported that he suffered burns due to an explosion while engaging in the dangerous practice of freebasing cocaine. However, Pryor himself claimed that his injuries were a result of the burning rum. While engulfed in flames, he ran down Parthenia Street until the police apprehended him. He was subsequently taken to a hospital where he received treatment for a second and third degree burns covering more than half of his body. Pryor spent six weeks recovering at the Grossman Burn Center in Sherman Oaks Hospital, Los Angeles. His daughter Rain attributed the incident to a drug-induced psychosis. Pryor's widow, Jennifer Lee, recalled the period when he became addicted to freebase cocaine, describing how the drug consumed him to the point where she felt invisible and irrelevant in his life. Health problems in November 1977, at the age of 36, Pryor suffered a mild heart attack, likely a consequence of his heavy smoking and drinking habits. However, he recovered and returned to performing the following January. In 1986, he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, adding another health challenge to his life. In 1990, Pryor experienced a second heart attack while in Australia, and he underwent triple heart bypass surgery in 1991. On December 10, 2005, Pryor suffered a third heart attack in Los Angeles. Despite Jennifer Lee's attempts to revive him, he was pronounced dead at a local hospital. His wife mentioned that he had a smile on his face at the end. Following his passing, Pryor was cremated, and his ashes were given to his family. In 2019, his widow scattered his ashes in the bay at Hana, Hawaii. Forensic pathologist Michael Hunter believes that Pryor's fatal heart attack was a result of coronary artery disease, likely exacerbated by his years of tobacco smoking. You might be gone but not forgotten keep resting in peace. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, subscribe and click on the bell icon.